Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video of this channel. North Korea, officially the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, is a country in East Asia constituting the northern part of the Korean Peninsula. Its government doesn't like people from outside the country going there, and finding out what's going on. It shares a border with a country called South Korea and the two countries have not got on with each other for a long time. A North Korean leaders and South Korean leader does not like each other because of opposite ideology of both countries. And the leaders of the countries had not met for 10 years. But that changed in April 2018 when North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met with the president of South Korea Moon Jae-in at the border between the two countries. The meeting was a significant moment in modern history. To better understand the relationship between the two countries, we need to look back over the last few decades at the history of this secretive country. Korea used to be one country but was divided after the Second World War. It had been ruled by Japan, but when Japan surrendered, forces from the Soviet Union occupied the north of the country, while US forces occupied the south. The Soviets supported a system of rule called communism, while the US was anti-communist. It meant the two sides could not agree on how to unite the country, so it was formally divided into North Korea and South Korea on 9 September 1948. The political differences between the two rival states led to the outbreak of war in 1950, when North Korea invaded South Korea. The world is growing increasingly interested in North Korea, its leader and government continuously try to protect the nation from outside influences by, for example, not allowing certain hairstyles or clothes all of this makes us want to know more about the people of North Korea and their lifestyle. We at Brightside found 16 things that are prohibited in North Korea for you to see for yourself. But before we go any further please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest update from our channel. Number 1. Don't call it North Korea. Tourists who visit North Korea should refer to the country as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea DPRK. North Koreans prefer that you call their country by its official title, as this shows that you acknowledge the country's view of itself as the superior and legitimate Korean government. Surrounded by deep valleys and mountainous terrain, DPRK is one of the most isolated and notoriously secretive countries in the world. It welcomes only several thousands of visitors each year. Number 2. Don't criticize the country or its leaders, steer clear of criticizing the country, the leaders, or the citizens. Questioning the government or saying any negative remark about the ruling family will be interpreted as a sign of disrespect. Worse, any jokes or insults about North Korean leadership may have you charged with treason. Visitors will be expected to show the same reverence as the locals, which means that you shouldn't take selfies doing the peace sign in front of any monument, or fold a newspaper if it has the face of Kim Jong-un on it. Number 3. Don't carry banned items into the country. Tourists cannot bring the following items into the DPRK. Standalone GPS devices, pornography, drones, magazines, newspapers, religious texts, and print or digital resources about North Korea or South Korea. Take note that if you do bring your mobile phone, you cannot make any international calls in North Korea. Surprisingly, blue jeans aren't allowed into the country either. Denim jeans, which were invented by Jacob Davis and Levi Strauss in 1873, are considered to be a symbol of capitalist America. You can still wear black jeans, but you will be asked to change into more appropriate clothing when visiting the statues of Kim Il-sung and Kim jong Two. Number 4. Don't expect independent travel. Any visit to North Korea requires that you join a government-sanctioned tour, where you will be accompanied by a guide at all times. These tours are heavily monitored, and you will not be permitted to wander off and explore sites on your own. All of your interactions with civilians, if any, will always be shadowed by your guide. Highlights of a guided tour will take you to the northern side of the Demilitarized Zone DMZ, as well as state-approved locations, such as the Tower of Juche and Kim Il-sung Square. Bowing is mandatory when you are in front of the statues of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. Otherwise, you risk offending your guides. Number 5. Don't take the wrong photographs. Much of what goes on inside North Korea is veiled in secrecy, and this can be felt in the country's severe restrictions on photography. Note that you must ask your guides for permission before taking any photo. 
capturing unauthorized photographs of military officers, airports, construction sites, and government buildings any place that is not declared a tourism site will be considered an act of espionage and have you banned from the country. Additionally, you cannot take photographs that depict the country in an unfavorable light. The DPRK doesn't want any imagery portraying its civilians in varying states of homelessness, malnourishment, or poverty. Taking photos in North Korea is a dangerous endeavor. Still that in, and of itself shouldn't be enough to get him charged with plotting to overthrow the government, lending credence to one report, that he had footage of North Korea executing defectors and dissidents on his person. Whatever the case may be, the KCNA is claiming, that his crimes have been, proven by evidence, and according to the Telegraph, North Korean officials have already suggested, that Bay will face harsh punishment and possibly execution. Number 6. Don't mention or practice your religion, take care not to speak about any religious beliefs, or demonstrate your faith by handing out religious materials to anyone in the DPRK. Christianity, for example, is prohibited to the point where being caught with a Bible means that you will face imprisonment, torture, or execution. By contrast, past and current leaders are elevated to godlike status in North Korea. Number 7. Don't go against your tour guide's wishes. Going against the established rules in a tour can put you and your guide's life in grave danger. If you are caught doing something illegal, your guide may be accused of being a co-conspirator by, helping, you spy on the country. For this act of treason, he or she will be imprisoned or even tortured. Therefore, if you find the restriction of movement in a pre-planned tour suffocating, or troublesome, you may want to visit another destination instead of North Korea. Number 8. Don't expect to witness the, real, North Korea, be ready to hear a one-sided perspective of history when you visit North Korea. Due to a government that demands uniformity and absolute compliance from its citizens, it will be very difficult to gain a deeper look into the, not-so-polished aspects of everyday life in the DPRK. Any, truth, about North Korea is tailored to promote a narrative of the country, as fully self-reliant and free from oppression. While this could not be farther from reality, the locals have no way of seeing through the propaganda, and knowing the disparity between their country and the rest of the world. Number 9. Don't travel with your family. While this precautionary measure might sound ominous, it's better to be safe than sorry. For reasons you can probably guess, an infamous law called the, Three Generations Rule, was established in 1972 by Kim Il-sung. It mandates that any serious crime will punish not only the perpetrator, but three generations of their family as well. This is meant to dissuade possible defectors from acting out against the government, lest they put the members of their immediate family at risk. Number 10. Don't visit North Korea if you're going to break the rules, breaking the rules in North Korea can get you detained or worse. There will be no second chances for tourists once a rule has been broken. If you plan to sneak illegal photographs, or engage with the locals about politics, it might be better to stay home. We hope this sheds some light on what goes on in DPRK. Due to the tight control over information in this socialist state, there is still much that we don't know and have to be cautious about. Even travelers who can follow the rules to the letter, should still think twice about their visit to North Korea, where every movement is viewed with suspicion. You have reached the end. Thanks for watching. Which of the strangest things shocked you the most? Did we miss any famous strangest things that you cannot do in North Korea? Don't forget to tell us in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching our video please give us a like, subscribe, or both. Let us know in the comments what you think about them. This has been the top 10 things you cannot do in North Korea. See you next time.